Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Cambridge Center today. We're gonna to talk to you about the brand new 2018 Winnebago View. This is the 24G. Now, for any more information on this particular RV or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. On top of that, you will get my exclusive offer. Subscribe to my page to keep up to date and check out my how-to videos as well as my product uh, recommendations. So let's get on to this 24G. This thing is a beauty. So we have, this particular one has the full body paint as an option and it also has the diesel generator option. So you can get it, come stand it with the LP, but you can get it with the uh, diesel generator option. So as you can see the awning, there's an acrylic awning, comes out pretty wide there as you can see. On top of that, you'll see that it has the LED light strip that's in the uh, awning tube. Nice thing with that, you can direct where you want that light to be going. Now you do have adjustments on this awning. As you can see right now, it's out pretty straight. So you have adjustments on the awning right here. And what you do is you're just gonna move it, which will actually drop it. And you can drop one side, you can drop both sides, whatever works for you. As you can see on this side, of course, you can have your outside stereo speakers. You have your uh, LED light uh, there at the door. Nice little storage bin here uh, next to the door. Up in here, you'll see that you can actually connect a TV. as a TV hookup and 110, and you would just be able to pull that right through there. So that way there, you can shut this door and it's out of the way. Of course, this one has the quiet diesel, the 3200 on in. And it's actually a little bit quieter than the, uh, the, LE, the uh, LP generator that comes with it. Now you see I'm gonna have slide toppers over both of the slide outs. So that's on, on your bed sliding out the back. And of course, your slide out for the, uh, on the side there. On your off door side here, of course this is where you can fill your fresh water tank. This is where your electrical cord will be, as well as for your uh, black tank, your fresh water uh, connection, water pump switch, your low point drains, and so forth. And this also has a black tank rinse. So we there, after you empty the black tank, you go ahead and drop them. Now your storage door is up there. Got a little bit more storage and up in that area for you. So you see, this one has a nice silver white. As you see in the back here, you have storage up underneath of your, this under the bed area. And it does have a light in here if you need to. Today's kind of a bright day, so not really needed it. The exhaust does come out the back end, so it's not blowing into your, uh, into your camping area. Winnebago, they make their own um, screen doors. And this screen door, I mean, it is solid. I mean, I'm pushing this coach, folks. It's not going anywhere. That's something, you know, check it out when you're looking at motorhomes. Check and see what the construction is like. Now, this is on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, so the engine battery will be up underneath the uh, driver's seat floor, and then your coach batteries are right under here makes it easy as you come in the door you're gonna be able to notice right here is this is where you have your battery uh, disconnect your step switch it has a little light and of course for your awning and then of course you have a couple more light switches out the counter here let's go ahead and pull this door closed we'll let you see but a little bit quieter here and I'll just kind of give you a little preview of what we've got in here so you can see you have the dinette booth and then of course you have uh, this one has the bed option up top, and I'll get into that in a little bit. So let me show you all the options this one has and let you have all the specs so you can have that. I guess you could pause the video if you need to. So as you can see, this is the 24G, and I apologize, this is a 2017. We just got this one in. It must have been from someone else, but uh, 2017. I apologize about that. As you see, your overall length on this one is 25 foot 7 inches. Your width a little bit over 7.6, height a little bit over 11 feet, and then of course there are your specs for the fuel, water, and so forth. Now these are all the options it has on it. So you see now that the retail on this one is 149 
149,000. So the big the big cost items on here is the diesel generator upgrade, which is 4,900, and then of course the full body paint. Okay. You also have something else. This one does have is it has the avoidance system. So it's the while you're it's a collision avoidance system. So you're going to see you have this little thing. It's the mobile eye thing right up in the um, windshield here, as well as down here. And that way there you can set it for different different things. So that's one other uh, big upgrade for you here. So of course your typical um, Mercedes Sprinter front area uh, upgrade that they do is of course is this screen, a larger screen that's for your navigation and for your backup uh, and rear view camera. Now as you can see you can turn these seats around and they come with a little booster seat because as you can see the floor in that area, and by the way folks, that carpet is not the carpet that comes with it from Mercedes. Okay, we have another carpet that goes up there. I know somebody might be pointing that out. Uh, this brake, uh, the brake, you might say, well, if you're putting the parking brake on, see, so the parking brake's on, you're going to say, well, how do I move that seat to turn it around? Well, with, with this, what all you do is push it down. Now it's down out of the way. You're able to go ahead and turn that seat around. But the parking brake is still on, folks. So you need to pull that back up push the button in to bring it down. So as I was saying, you have a little booster seat, so that way there when you turn that seat around and you use it, your, your knees aren't up into your chest. Of course, you can see you have the bunk bed thing up top here, um, and notice where the ladder is stored. It's out of the way. But the other nice thing is, you know, this thing is very lightweight. It goes over very easy. That makes it a lot easier for you to get in and out of the front cab area. Let me turn around and show you the the coach from up in this area, so you kind of get an idea. So you can see your kitchen area, of course the lighting on the ceiling, your dinette area. Of course the dinette booth does break down a bit. Only one leg, it's connected at the wall and here, nice thing with that, you don't have any legs that are really in your way when you're sitting there. And of course you have this, you know, the simulated wood flooring. Notice how the heat duct is up off the floor, blowing across, which is nice. Um, of course, you got the nice high-rise high faucet for the sink. And look at all the storage under the sink. I mean, they do a phenomenal job. And of course, this one has for a water filtration system hooked up there, a water filter. Of course, you have all your drawers here under the cooktop. And this is a two-burner two, uh, two, two cooktop. You've got small and big. And look at your splash guard over here, which does have a light on it. Light above it and so forth. Light above the sink, as you can see. Now this TV does open up, so that that way there, you can see it's like that. So the person up above, of course we're not level, but the person up above, if you're up on the, on the bed, you're able to see the bed, I mean the TV. But also, you have a ways to go ahead and get to the stereo behind here, your DVD player. And if you needed to store anything else up here, if you're, or if you're putting uh, a satellite system in here, you're able to set your box up top there. I mean, they think of everything. You have, of course, the high point convection microwave. You've got the nice refrigerator freezer here. It's by Norco. As you see, a good size refrigerator. And this is your typical RV refrigerator, meaning it'll it'll handle both electric and propane. Up top here, this is where your controls are. Of course, it has a 100 watt solar panel. Of course, you can check uh, all your levels here. Handling your uh, solar charge, your diesel generator area, uh, your inverter, LP tank, and your slide outs. All that's right up here. Then, of course, in the bedroom area, of course, you can have windows on all three walls here. And then, of course, back in the back, you see I have one one light is, is white, the other is blue, so you're able to set them to either reading light or as, as blue. You can see now this lighting up top, and this is the way it is on, on the outside, on, up in the front area, so you can have it off, you can put it on dim, or you can put it on bright. It really doesn't show you, give you the true feeling for that while we're here. And now I know a lot of people, they look at this door here, and they wonder what's behind it, well, behind it is the actual shower, but what this does, this door unlatches, and what it does is it gives you 
privacy for the bedroom. So that's what that is for. Also gives you access to the shower if we need to um, go ahead and uh, work on it. So just giving you a look to the front there. Um, so this is a, uh, what they would consider a queen bed. The mattresses just fold up on top of each other when you bring the, bring the slide in. And you have access to your breakers and fuses there. Of course you have a nice big, uh, you have a nice TV back here. As you can see. And that's right there for where the bed is. And then of course you're going to have, this is your storage pan um, for you. You can hang some clothes and everything. Of course right now we got the carpet for the front. We've got the other uh, booster seat. We've got your filter stuff for the microwave all in there. And then you have a drawer. So that's all in there. Let's go take a look up here in the bathroom area for you. So in the bathroom, kind of might remind you of visiting the dentist's office. You see the sink there when you want to use the toilet you're able to push the sink into the into the uh, shower. Now, if you need to use the shower, you just pull the sink over here, and now it's out of the way, so you can go ahead and take a shower. So there's your shower, and it does have the retractable door already on there. Nice, good size. Of course, you have the skylight in there. You've got a place for hanging your towel. Now, folks, that is not a chin-up bar in there. That's just so you can hang some wet clothes if you had. And of course it does have a place for you to put your toilet paper holder there. And this is an electric toilet. You do have a water pump switch in there as well. And then of course you have, you know, a little medicine cabinet in here and a 110 plug. I mean, they think, folks, I'll tell you, that's one thing Winnebago thinks of is a lot of things. Now that, that's a mirror, but that's also a medicine cabinet for you. Good sized mirror with plenty of light. And notice you have a power vent fan. You have an AC duct in here as well as a heating duct. So that's important. Makes a huge, huge difference. So again, this is a 2017 24G, has full body paint along with uh, the diesel generator option and the uh, collision avoidance system. So for any more information on this particular RV or any others, be sure to ask for Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, if you call. If you email or if you stop by, thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly.